Hello there, human. It is I, Vilithos, and I'm creating my own universe called Exathos or Exatos if you're having trouble with the TH. What I do want to say in advance, don't worry about it. I'm not creating an actual real universe, so uh, I'm not going to mess with our reality, okay, our universe. Uh, but I do am working on a, well, Exathos is a fictional one, just to make sure and you're not immediately jumping to conclusions and get existential dread or something like that, okay? I'm going to use this video to kind of show you a larger view on the Exathos universe, um, what its fundamental story is, and what kind of magic you can expect, all right? Before I talk about my universe and throw a bunch of lore at your head, okay, um, I want to let you know that should you have any question in your head, in your little brainy brain of a human, right, mine is probably even smaller, then pause the video and write me a comment uh, under this video. And I'm going to go through it and I'm going to see what kind of questions you have about my universe. Um, because I will use it as inspiration so I can, you know, flesh out my universe. Because there's going to be tons of questions that you're going to have, probably, likely, if, if you're curious about it, that is. And I say this because I probably have more questions than anybody else. It's just that I don't really know which questions actually interest people and which won't, or which don't. I'm having huge trouble determining the genre of exothos um but as a start so you can kind of like pinpoint if this is for you or not um it's a high fantasy universe with lots of cosmic and probably even eldritch stuff in there i don't know how, how else to put it and it has a big focus on mystery so you kind of could consider it just as a very simplified um, wording, a um, cosmic high fantasy. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe this is appealing, maybe not. I hope it doesn't sound too science fiction-like, uh, because while I'm a huge fan of science fiction and these complex explanations and whatever, right, um, I don't want the sci-fi to get in the way of the cool shit. While I personally like those details, a lot of times they can be overwhelming and unnecessarily complex. So there you go. Now we got that off the way. Let's talk about what it's actually about. Story-wise, Exothos is all about who or what is currently the greatest influence to the universe or parts of it. And these influences can be, let's say, higher beings or even gods, okay? The gods here are pretty simplified, but I think everybody understands kind of what is the characteristics of a god. Well, higher entities are probably more vague and it could be different. Now, there's another part to this, which is it could also be just straight up an anomaly in nature. Now, it is really important to understand that it is about how, in what way, because the civilizations that exist within Exothos, they will look at this and they will, they will evaluate what that kind of thing is or that, that influence is. And then they decide what their stance towards this kind of influence is. So let's, let's go this route and let's say there is a god. Okay, there's one god currently, he's a really, really powerful god. And um, you have a civilization that's very close to it. Now that civilization, it has certain options, and it can decide. Well, we could just live with we could just live with this god in symbiosis, and we're fine. We don't lose anything. We don't gain anything. We just live, you know, peacefully, and we don't have a problem with that because we get something out of it. The god gets something out of it, so everything is fine. Now, if you apply this to a greater scale, where you have not just one civilization, you have multiple civilizations, right? Who, who knows how many I'm gonna make? Um, and they will all decide what their relationship is towards this god, 
just in this example, this one god. And that creates alliances, empires, it decides on, maybe even you have a, uh, maybe you have even a civilization who's close to it, but they hate that god, right? But they have to pretend, but secretly they try to get away and find ways to give other civilizations information. Hey, look, so we're really close to that god, but we don't want to get smacked like mosquitoes. Here's some information, do something with it. We're kind of here in a big state of emergency, right? And that is what the dynamic of the Exathos universe really is all about. It's all about what's currently the biggest deal and how is a civilization dealing with that? And that would pretty much sum it up for what Exathos is all about on the bigger scale, if you simplify it, that is. Okay, well, that's all great and whatever, right? But why do they want to become higher entities or gods in the first place? Why do they do this? And the answer to that is the following. Well, this is still simplified. I'm, I'm re really trying my best here to get this across, which is really hard. Any civilization, any sentient intelligence, let's go for that. Any sentient intelligence it will get to a certain point where it will ask the question, why? Why do I exist? What's my purpose here in this universe? You know, stuff like that. Uh, whatever. Whatever kind of questions they have, it drives them. It gives them a drive for curiosity and trying to answer those questions. And the thing is that after asking enough questions, and getting enough answers, eventually understanding the universe to a certain degree, they will meet a certain threshold where they will realize there is something in this universe, in the Exothos universe to be precise, that is universally considered the truth. So of course, uh, that, that question now is, well, what is the truth? Uh, what, what, what's the point of the truth? Well, understanding the universe to its fullest, that is what is believed to be the truth. But nobody knows what the truth truly is, okay? But it's sort of this ultimate goal that any civilization has, which is, if we know everything about the universe, if we know how it works, we can solve all, we can solve all problems we ever had, whatever it is. And... The more you know about the universe, if you, if you know the truth, you have security, you have control, you have this, you have that. So any civilization, any culture even, so even smaller than that, um, any person, culture, whatever, they all have a different interpretation of what the truth may be. But there's only a few, let's say, that actually have encountered the truth or know the truth, right? And that brings out the best and the worst of any character, any culture, any civilization, any whatever kind of being it is. What's really important in Exothos is that moment of realization when you, me, who made this thing, who's working on it, you know, or the characters inside the Exothos universe have that aha moment when it's like oh i understand now finally this is great i understand it i what it, whatever this thing was i didn't understand it before but now i understand it that's that moment is really really important in exothos or gen generally when it comes to to this stuff for me or or exothos okay specifically for exothos because in exothos we explore mysteries but in a way that you know I can explain them. Okay, just saying. Talking about mysteries, well, how can you have that moment without mysteries? So, what are the greatest mysteries of Exothos? There are three super duper big mysteries. You could call them the, the great three. Okay, let's just go and call them the Great Three. I think that makes it uh, more rememberable. The very first 
Mystery of Exothos. I already kind of mentioned it, um, which is the truth. Okay? The truth is the greatest mystery of the entire universe. All these civilizations and all these characters that think that they may know what the truth is, and those who get closer to the closer to the truth, let's say, right? So they understand the universe better than anybody else. Even they have their own interpretation of the truth. Um, but here's the kicker about it. Even if anybody knows the truth, it's then about evaluating the truth. It's about, well, if this is the truth, what are you doing with that knowledge that you have now? So you may know, oh, okay, wait, so this is the truth? Well, that's the question. Now you know, but are you going to act upon the truth? Do you deny the truth? Can you accept the truth? Do you just ignore it till the end of times, however long you exist? I don't know. It's, it's all about that. It's all about, well, you have gotten to the point where you got the answer. You know the truth. But what are you going to do with it? The second mystery of Exothos are humans. <gasps> Crazy, right? Wait, humans? Right? It's like, what, what do you mean, humans? Like, it's, how are humans special at all? Just wait. So, humans in Exothos are mythology. So, think of it like this. Imagine you try to tell your friends, well, you know, the other day I wanted to get some fresh air. So, I opened the window, I looked outside, and there it was. I saw an actual dragon. Just look at me in the eyes and you know, and fly away. They're gonna, they're gonna be like, oh my god, you're such a goofball. So whatever you're talking about, just, are you completely insane? Right? You wouldn't take that seriously. You would make a joke about it because, well, obviously dragons are not real. Or are they? <gasps> right? And that's, that's where it comes in. Now, that logic applies to humans in Exothos. So all these civilizations, they think they know what a human is, but they don't. They have their own interpretation of what it means to be a human or what humans even are. Humans are considered to be the greatest mythos of the entirety of the universe. Nobody knows where they truly come from or if they are even real. Um, there's only stories and legends about them. Even those who have like super in-depth knowledge about any sort of field of science, like whatever, whatever kind of science it is, all civilizations equally have an immense amount of trouble trying to identify a human or what humans left behind or if it even is you know somewhat human or anything like that they don't know what a human looks like they don't know how humans behave so all they know is a bunch of stories and they interpret them and that is why humans are really special because there is one thing that is universally believed by pretty much all civilizations, by all people, by all folks, whatever kind of species are around that kind of talk about this stuff and have philosophy. They all think that humans are who created this universe. That is how special they think humans are. And that brought them to that point of thinking that, well, if humans created the universe, humans must come from the end of the universe. That is where all humans live. That is where humans come from. So they truly believe, and this is a general part of all stories pretty much, is that, well, humans, they're not, they're not here. Well, they're not here, but they live at the end of the universe. You don't want to get there. Should you ever go to the end of the universe, they will be humans and they will welcome you and I don't know what they're going to do, right? That's kind of like what humans are doing. Oh, no, sorry, that's not what humans are doing. That's what, that's what uh, civilizations and people think what humans are. Uh, so yeah, um, you could kind of think of uh, the humans in Exothos as that mythos of these were the first. Before everything else, humans were the first. It doesn't really stop there. It goes further. So it's believed that 
humans are gods of creation, that they have truly mastered creation itself, that they have full control over everything that they want to create. Um, and because of that, they must have unimaginable powers. It's even said that should you ever encounter a human, change is about to happen. So the result of that is humans mean change. With all that said about the truth and humans, there is one last great mystery to Exothos. And that mystery is its hard magic system. Now, what I do want to emphasize here is that I'm using hard magic system because it's easier to to tell you, oh, hey, I have a, I have a magic system, a hard magic system, uh, right, for Exothos, than telling you, oh, hey, Exothos has its own physics, right? Like, maybe, maybe you are into science fiction and stuff like that, but if you tell a fantasy person, oh, hey, physics, they're probably going to be like, ah, oh, you know what, that's a little bit too much, it's not really my thing. So, um, generally speaking, this hard magic system is so hard... It goes so hard. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's so hard. It's so deeply rooted in the very core, in the very fundament of the entire uh, Exothos universe that these are the physics of Exothos. Obviously, there's sort of an important question here, which is how can the magic system or the physics be part of the great three mysteries? How does that make any sense? I really hope that future me will have a better explanation for you that is much more clear and on point. It's a mystery because the characters themselves, they need to figure out by themselves how to make some sort of spell happen. And I, as the creator, I also need to figure out how this spell is going to be constructed and how it's going to happen. And while I do understand that it's not necessary to do that, I'm all about the explanation. I want precise answers. I really want to know uh, how a fireball in a certain universe is literally constructed to the very physics of whatever universe that is. But I also understand that this is not something for everybody. So yeah, um, the mystery about the magic system is that, well, we together have to figure out how things work. So if you come up with an idea and you're like, hey, Vilithos, does this kind of thing work in your universe? Well, then I will sit down and I will be like, okay, well, I guess I have to answer that question. Let me investigate that scientific field of the Exothos universe to give you an answer, hopefully in the form of a video. No promises. I hope you liked the video and you're somewhat curious, at least, about Exothos. Um, and let me know what kind of questions you have. If there's anything specific that you want to know right now, immediately, right? Just write me a comment, write that question, no trick questions, and uh, I'll try to answer it. And that's going to be the dynamic of this channel for a lot of these videos when it comes to Exothos in my universe. It's you writing down a weird ass question and I go and I'll try to answer it. Uh, there's one last thing I want to say. I'm creating this universe because I noticed that I don't just want to show you my universe. I want to explore it with you. Hopefully, you're going to enjoy that a little bit. Uh, and uh, we'll see ourselves in the next video. Okay, so peace out. And uh, I don't have an outro yet. Uh, be creative. Play God, I guess.